So the godfather of Houston, Texas, you know, one of the reasons why Drizzy, Drake, Rogers, you know, talking about Drake is the person that Drake is today. Of course, Drake has grown into his own man, but of course, Jay Prince and his family, you know, they played a big role in the elevation of Drake. Now, you know, well, Jay Prince Sr. is now coming out pretty much saying that he did meet up with NBA Youngboy. Uh, not only did he meet up with him, he, he's actually res you know, responsible for getting Drake on that FaceTime call. Now, if you may remember inside of Youngboy's song, Youngboy pretty much said that drake is now his enemy because you know he said he can you know drake sold why be that he can't do anything with him because he's cool with Lil Dirk? Anyways, well, it looks like J Prince Sr. had a lot to say about that and pretty much told why be I'm gonna need you to take my boy Drake off your enemy list. And he also said that he told him this privately to himself. And I'll read y'all exactly what J Prince said right after the intro. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to get shout out to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways, so pretty much what's going on. J Prince Sr. has posted a picture with NBA Youngboy and also Birdman, uh, which means that, you know, he did visit him inside of Utah. Now, you may know a while ago that, you know, first of all, NBA Youngboy did say something about J Prince in one of his songs, like, I try to get your daddy hit, go ask J Prince, or something like that to that magnitude. But, of course, you know, talking about J Prince Sr. had to pull out the receipts just to let mother because know that it is what it is. And the earth is his turf. Well, I'm going to read y'all exactly what J Prince Prince Sr. said, uh, you know, the message to YB and also just the public because it's on Instagram. He said with the picture and I'll show you the picture. It says, as you all can see, I had a good time kicking it with the homies in Utah on behalf of the little homie YB. Me and my brother Birdman were able to have a real conversation face to face. We talked about the past, the present and the future. But most important, we left each other with a mutual respect moving forward, even though I wasn't there for a meeting with Birdman, I must say the Lord works in mysterious ways. With that being said, I must address the song where my name and Drake's name were mentioned because he did, like I told y'all on that, you know, the F the Industry Part 2 or whatever, he mentioned Jay Prince and also he mentioned Drake. Um, or mention to the little homie, as I said to you privately, I say to you publicly, and Drake, that Drake is my son. He rode with me, so he pretty much saying Drake is mob ties. You know, talking about Drake is you know talking about with us. Therefore, I think it's a good idea to take him off your enemy list because the truth of the matter is that we got nothing but love for Dirk and your accomplishments. So he just pretty much saying, hey man, we rock with what you're doing, but also we got love for Dirk as well. But with NBA Youngboy, it's just a thin line was that Drake said he couldn't do nothing with him because of the fact of, you know, being cool with Dirk, which is, that's like some industry stuff. Like, I don't know. That's why I don't get too deep into like just like trying to be energy because people like the pick side. Me, I just like, hey, man, do whatever I want to do. I'm the freedom to do and say what I want to say and not have to pick no type of size or nothing like that at all. But of course, whenever you're in the music industry, you got to do that. Anyways, when I put Drake on that FaceTime call with you, so that's him saying that he's responsible for putting them on a facetime call my intent was for y'all to move forward not backwards two things we get every day is a chance and a choice the choice we make determine our destination anyways alexa play drake mob ties sickity yeah yeah hide some help yeah yeah get rid of the i'm not with the rah rah i'm a die die anyways so it looks like you know i'm talking about drizzy drake had some of his reinforcements in the you know in the image of jay prince senior and of course the rest of his mob ties family have a little conversation with yb you know what i'm talking about a respectful conversation you know what i'm talking about uh just to pretty much hey man we see you got an enemy list let's go ahead and pull drake off the enemy list let's go ahead and take me off that enemy list and as for everybody else do as you please but for those two specific people and me personally i can't go for that anyway so how do y'all feel about this man listen people can say whatever they want to say about jay prince senior young talking about but at the end of the day respect is what buddy demands and he stands on business you know what I'm talking about? when that stuff happened with quavo now even though he wasn't technically involved with it uh he 
went to Atlanta. You know, I'm talking about his son went to Atlanta, partied in Atlanta, was all around Atlanta. You know, I'm talking about they done the stuff with YB. He's met up with YB in Utah. You know, I'm talking about like you gotta really in order to get to YB in Utah, you gotta like be on special list and stuff because he's like on federal all this stuff, right? So, hey man, but it happened anyways. How do y'all feel about it? Let me know some. Do y'all think NBA young boy will cool off with the dissing on certain people? I don't think so. Maybe he has this meeting, but also I feel like you know the label want him to do all this stuff um simply because it's gonna generate money so at the end of the day business is business you know tell my personal then you got business let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out